I'm Michael and welcome back to another episode of Wicked Out. And on today's episode, I'm super excited to show you the new Blake Light from the John Renault Smart Lace Collection. I will be showing you her in Malibu Blonde, which is 12 FS12. I purchased this wig with my own friends from the wig coach, Sherry Schaefer. Um, I love Sherry. She is super helpful. She offers consultations of 15 to 60 minutes, and um, she does charge for them. But honestly, I wish I would have gone to her a long time ago and just paid to have somebody tell me what it is that I need, because I would have saved myself a lot of money. Um, I could have bought this wig a long time ago, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and I can't say anything more about her. She's just a honest, you know, wonderful person. She always gives you the best, you know, customer service. She always is there to answer any question that you have. Um, and I, 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 you know, I'm not trying to do a shameless plug, but I, I love Sherry, so I, I have no shame. I, I, I do. Um, without Sherry, I would never have thought to actually buy this beautiful wig Blake. She did most of the convincing. And she was so right on so many levels. So thank you, Sherry, you're a doll. I'm actually going to leave all of Sherry's information down in the description box. You can find her on Instagram and on Facebook. So that being said, let's dive into this review. This is one of the most beautiful wigs that I have ever seen. The hair quality, the density, they took her from 115% density and they took her down to 100% density. So now she is just the perfect amount of hair and she does not feel sparse whatsoever. There is a lot of hair hair for styling. So she is front in the front. She is 15.5 inches. So you can see this layer right about right about there. At the crown, she's 18 inches. So crown down. Sides, she is 17. And the nape is 16. I'm going to give you a front. Here's the front. Here is the side. Here is the back. And you can see just how long she is. She hits me about, you know, mid-back. So lots of options for buns and ponytails and braids. And back to this side. And then now if I get my share to cooperate, back to the front. All right, so as you can see, this has got the new ear-to-ear -ear lace. So as you can see, the hairline is absolutely just... The only issue I will point out, and it's different for everybody, and I think it, I think it comes down to head shape. I've got a really funny head shape right here. I kind of have an indention, so these don't like to sit entirely flat on me most of the time. Occasionally, I will have a day where they cooperate. So, I've been using the little 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 pieces of double-sided tape, just right here, just to hold these down, and that seems to be that's working wonderfully. The I haven't had to use anything on the nape. Um, this is a great style, and, and I will take the wig off in just a minute and show you the inside. But I thought I'd show you some styling options. She is wonderful. You can put her in a ponytail. And the great thing about it is, is just pull her down. That, that polyurethane will grab your nape. And then I just put her in a low ponytail a lot. It's the easiest way for me, personally, to wear her. Now, on Instagram, I and Facebook, I posted 
And I'll try to do a bun real quick to show you what I did. Now, as you can see, I'm twisting the hair. And now I'm going to go like this. But I'm going to try to continue twisting, and it's the most awkward thing. Of course, doing this on camera is not actually going to work out right. Okay, just bear with me, and I will get it to cooperate. There we go. The key to this, to making it look neat, is tucking the tail up under, and I find bobby pin here. Usually I can secure this with just two. So like bobby pin here. And a bobby pin there. Now this is just for demonstrations purposes. If I was doing this in real life I'd probably put about six in here. But as you can see, this is a wonderful wig to put in a great updo. I I'm, I'm, I'm can imagine how many different styles you can get out of this one wig. She's extremely expensive. And I know that that's going to deter a lot of people from this. But I look at it as an investment. This is something that I'm going to have for five years. Most of the time these wigs last for quite a while, especially with the proper maintenance and care. That's the reason why I only use John Renault products on my John Renault wigs. And she has been washed since I've had her. I did run a straight iron through her. And I put a little flip at the end. That's the only thing I've done to this wig. So now let me just take it off. And like I showed you guys in the Julian review, I like to grab it from behind the ear tabs because I don't like to touch them. Um, I don't want to possibly bend them. As you can see, she's extremely long. She weighs about 5.8 ounces. And she's made out of 50% Indian and 50% Chinese, Remy. So you're going to get a combination of straight and slightly curly. This wig actually does dry pretty pretty nice, um, just naturally. I have worn her natural. Oh, you know, it's it's actually, I was quite shocked at how pretty the hair quality of this was. So here is the new Smart Lace light cap with its wonderful ear to ear with the polyurethane here, so you can use tape, glue, whatever you need to do. Same thing here, you got polyurethane, which also helps hold even if you don't use glue. So like this cap is really great um, for people who don't have hair, um, or people who have their hair very short like mine. I don't know how this works for people with, with you know, a bio, lots of bio hair. Um, I would assume it still works quite well. But as you can see, it still has the monotop, it has this, you know, the lace, hand fully hand tied with a nice stretchy section in the back. Just an overall great, well made, and it's, you know, the cap doesn't even feel like it's on. Um, I also have Julianne. Uh, in the Smart Lace Light Collection, so I have a synthetic and a human hair, and I actually, I know this sounds weird, but I like my human hair cap better than I like the synthetic one, and I don't know, I don't think there's a difference, but it, it just, this one's more comfortable, and I don't know what it is. Um, I do have this color in a synthetic, um, because I've had quite a few people ask me what, um, what does this look like in the synthetic version? So this is Malibu and, and human hair. Um, I just want to point out one thing: is it still does? It still has all the same original features of a hand-tied cap. It, you know, honestly, guys, it's it's it comes down to for me, um, the two greatest improvements on on the hand-tied caps for me 
are the ear-to-ear -ear lace and this lovely like this polyurethane strip just does everything like you can do you can actually put your hair up and not worry about it like put your hair up in a ponytail in public with people watching and nobody knows anything's funny at all I wore her to the beach actually I've worn this way to the beach in a bun I have she's just great she's just you know no tangles whatsoever at all so let me just throw this back on my head and then I'm gonna just grab Rachel remember Rachel my favorite wig you know this I would just love it if John Renault would um, I can't wait for them to do more smart lace light pieces because I'm hooked I'm absolutely love this and you know the ear tabs do lift you know nothing is ever you know that's why you get the option of using glue um, which is why I said before why it might not be great for somebody who has bio hair um, just get my hair straight on okay I'll be right back guys all right and I'm back so this is Rachel in the synthetic form and the only thing that I can tell noticeably is the synthetic seems to be just slightly more vivid and shinier that's really for me amazing that this wig is like seven months old I should do a video on how I keep my wigs in such a good condition what do you guys think just leave a comment down below and I'll you know I'll throw something together for you guys but this wig is like I bought this in February and as you can see I haven't even steamed her her ends are still perfect and as you can see she still has great density she still has great movement Rachel is still she's my favorite she's my favorite wig And coming up, I will be, I'll be going on a cruise. Well, it's not the kind of cruise you guys are thinking about. It's, um, I don't know if you guys remember the Sea Scout boat um, I did in a Get Ready With Me video. Um, I'll also throw that link down below. Um, I did with the Get Ready With Me video, and I, we're going on a summer cruise. So we take the kids, you know, it's like Boy Scouts on the water. Um, we take the kids, and it's going to be 10-day cruise. So if you guys don't see or hear from me a lot it's it's you know I'm, I'm still around I'm still alive I'm, I'm going to try to do a couple of videos actually on the road um, they're probably not going to be as polished as what you're used to um, so that's everything that I have to say I don't even like I've had this wig for two weeks and I really don't have a bad word to say about it I have worn this in so many different different ways I've worn it in a braid I've worn it in a bun it is I don't know why I waited so long I guess it was I was waiting for John Renault to come out with the ear to ear lace maybe that's and they say everything happens in the universe for a reason um, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my supporters it really means a lot to have you here on this journey with me and I want to say welcome aboard to all of my new subscribers um, it's great to have you here uh, you know we're gonna be doing some fun things coming up um, so this has been just another one of my long-winded lots of praise reviews cuz you know I'm sorry I can't I want if, even if I looked for something bad to say about this I really I can't find anything with the exception of the aforementioned you know the ear tabs are a little they're just a little bit they can be annoying <laughs> but I don't mean mean I don't mean anything bad by that at all I still love this wig I still wear it every day like I've this has been a daily wig 
pretty much for the last two weeks almost. I think I've only worn Mila and I might have worn, oh, my new eye wig, which I'll be showing you that coming up. Um, it's not new. It's my eye wig that I've reviewed before, but I actually had a little mishap and got bangs into it. Long story short, there'll be a whole episode about that. And until next time, this has been another episode of Waked Out, and this was a review of Blake Light in the color Malibu Blonde. Bye, guys!